Welcome back to the show. Right, with all the Formula One hype that's descended on the city, mm -hmm. we thought we'd do something a little different this morning. And yes, we're going to talk about basketball. Yes, the drama, the adventure. So joining us on the set are two players who've been shooting hoops in the ASEAN Basketball League since it, since it began in 2009. Yep, from the Singapore Slingers, please welcome Stephen Koo. And Hello. from the Air Asia Philippine Patriots, Alex Cristiano. Welcome to the show, guys. Welcome, welcome. Thank you, thank you. And of course, to be here. All right, Singaporean and from Brooklyn all the way down to Philippines, you've been there yeah. 10 years, right? Yeah, it's, uh, it's, been a, it's been a nice voyage. It's been a great experience at the mm -hmm. same time doing this uh, Asian, Asian basketball. Mm -hmm. It's been another traveling life once again. Very good. So, of course, it's in September 2009. Um, we're going to ask Stephen, I feel like such a hobbit beside these guys. <laughs> <laughs> I can't help it. I'm I'm so minuscule compared to these guys, but 2009, um, what are your first impressions so far about the Ash, uh, ASEAN Basketball League? Oh, when I first heard, um, I think it's going to be big mm -hmm. for this league, yeah. Mm -hmm. And it's a good opportunity for the local players in Singapore and other regions mm -hmm. yeah, to play a higher standard mm -hmm. yeah, with all the American imports mm -hmm. yeah, over the world. Exactly. Yeah. When did you both start playing basketball? Mm -hmm. Well, um, I started playing basketball kind of late, but uh, I was a late bloomer. But, mm -hmm. but then again, in New York, Brooklyn, growing up there, mm. you had so many idols to look up to. You exactly. know? So you, so you had a, you had a, all playgrounds from each and every block. Mm -hmm. I started playing basketball when I was like around uh, 15. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. And, and such Stephen, a it's a different uh, you know, environment in Asia. Yeah, we got to study. <laughs> you live in Singapore. Yeah. And then do national training. Yes, <laughs> exactly, correct. Exactly, exactly. So I started when I was 15. Right. Yeah, 15. And I got influenced by my brother. Mm -hmm. He used to play. And so I started playing in school. Mm -hmm. Then I started joining the school team when I was Because you want to make money. Because you want to make you like, I want to play now. Yeah. <laughs> Basketball, make money. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Fame. Come with but the fame. Yeah. Not really in Singapore. No, <laughs> not really in Singapore. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So you both, both had very different experiences with the game. Mm -hmm. um, Simon, let's talk a little bit more about yours. How has it developed over the years in Asia, basketball? Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, firstly, I got to say, because um, I was selected to national team first. Mm -hmm. And currently, then they select us from national team to play for the Slingers mm -hmm. to, be, to turn pro. So now, and mm -hmm. we are trying to promote basketball in schools. Right. Yeah, we go to school for clinics mm -hmm. with the kids. Yeah, teach them fundamental skills and hope they can inspire them to become a professional next time. I see. Yeah. But for the Philippines, it's a, the game's a little bit more developed in the Philippines. It's mm. a bit more popular oh, um, than Singapore. In, in, the, yeah, in the Philippines, it's very, it's very, it's nice, like soccer mm -hmm, mm -hmm. all around the other Asia. Yeah, it's football, football. <laughs> yeah. You, you can correct me, but in, it's, it's in, the, in New York, we call it's it soccer. soccer. Yeah, we call it soccer too in yeah, Singapore. Yeah, no, you do yeah, not. Yeah, you will yeah, yeah, get hey, hammered hey, if you call it soccer hey, in hey, Singapore. Come on, pound it out. That He's backing Just me up. Just because they're Remember, bigger than us. Teamwork. They're all bigger than us. We shall let it go <laughs> for now. But uh, <laughs> no, it, it's in, in the states. It's, yeah. it's been, the, been one of the biggest. Besides mm -hmm. baseball yeah. mm -hmm. and football. Yeah, exactly. American football. American 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 football. football. Um, basketball is played in each and every neighborhood in, in yeah. New York. So it's, mm -hmm. yeah, it's, so it's really inspiring. And, it's, mm -hmm. and people just, they stop, they walk by, they watch us play. So it's Who is your idols when you're growing up? Um, I can't. I'm, that's gonna that's gonna reveal my age. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to do that. <laughs> but um, I think my idol growing up was definitely it was definitely uh, Michael Jordan and yeah. Dominique Wilkins. All right, no cream of Jabari. Yeah. No, no, no. no I'm not that old. Yet. <laughs> <laughs> that's yeah, vintage. That that's vintage. <laughs> All right. Uh, what well, we were talking about. Uh, um, some people, a lot of people say Philippines, uh, the most developed nation among the ASEAN countries when it comes to basketball. Do you agree, Stephen? Yeah, they, they are, for the past mm -hmm. donkeys of years, uh -huh. they, are, they are the powerhouse of basketball. Exactly. They, they won all the SEA Games. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so 
So it does show, and, and the thing is, um, the uh, Asia Philippine Patriots were, were champions in season one and runner up in season two. So in season three, do you think the Filipinos uh, are still going to be uh, steamrolling over everyone else? Um, yeah, I, I pretty much said we're going to be a competitive uh, team that we're going to. But I still see that you know Singapore is a great team, Thailand, mm -hmm. they they had the champions, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Malaysia had a great team. Mm -hmm, it's. Mm -hmm. It's just like it's just you gotta find the right chemistry, and it's just you gotta keep sticking to the. It's a sports. You gotta keep fighting. You just can't if you just lose one game, you can't just give up. You mm -hmm. just gotta keep on fighting and fighting and getting better. It so lot, eh? yeah, it just takes a lot of you know a lot of heart and trust. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, Stephen, you talked about the imports earlier on. How many players um, do we import mm -hmm. overall? For um, two American imports for each team, and you can have three us. Um, ASEAN import. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So right. in my team, there's two American import and two Filipinos. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So um, then the rest will, will be all the locals. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They're trying to let the local play more. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. To stand out. Yeah. To develop. So of course, raise the standards yeah. as a whole. How, how do you Correct. feel about that? Being no, a role no, model. That's, that's, so, for so. me, I think it's all about the locals. Mm -hmm. I mm -hmm. mean, because they bring the fans. But of course, when you bring two imports and they bring mm -hmm. a little bit high intensity, high flying mm -hmm. dunks, mm -hmm. which mm -hmm. which uh, the, the crowd really loves. And uh, exactly. but I know locals and homegrowns can do the same thing. Mm -hmm. So really? it's not like we're here doing conspiracy here by other players. But of course, uh -huh. this is this is Asian basketball, mm -hmm. and this is at, at its best. Homegrowns got to show their stuff. All right, and uh, we, we also noticed that the games uh, are fond of entertainment towards kids. I know you've got cheerleaders, you've got mascots during halftime, you've got <laughs> games as well. I mean, uh, you, you only have, you know, the cheerleader girls in back in America or something like that. <laughs> something different. So, Steve, can you tell us something about that? I mean, it's more family-oriented, isn't it? Yeah, correct. Um, I definitely agree that um, I believe that mm. it's one of the best sports entertainment in, in this region yeah. currently now with all the... Mm -hmm. Cheerleaders and even halftime activity like um, mm -hmm. ten thousand half court shot mm -hmm. in Singapore. Right. Yeah, which attract all the. Oh really? Yeah. So ten thousand yeah. Singapore dollars for a half court shot. They had, yeah. a, they had it here. How much is fifteen thousand out here? Uh, fifteen thousand ringgit. Right? Yeah. How much is that? In in, in dollars. To dollars, in dollars, about five thousand. Yeah. Well, they had that here when I was like, let me let me shoot that. <laughs> 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 someone, 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 let me get someone, one. I yeah. think someone won. Yeah, they won yeah. Really? Yeah. Seven, seven, seven or six thousand. Um, yeah. yeah. Wow. The owner, okay. of Ma oh, the owner of Malaysia is a is a very very nice guy, very <laughs> yeah. generous man. Yeah, really. yeah we've met him a couple of times, Ruben. Yeah, yeah Ruben. Exactly. Very, yeah. very, very, he's very open arms yeah and also yeah. he's very supportive of, Sport of, of, of his sports coming yeah. in as well thank you so much uh for, for so what are your hopes for the the league um this year this season mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. this coming, coming season, season more teams mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. then we get to play more games and this will bring out more standard better imports mm -hmm. yeah so more teams yes yeah, more team what do you think uh, i think i think yeah, it's going to be a uh, more competitive for the locals to step up too mm -hmm. if mm -hmm. there's going to be more teams there's going to be more imports there's going to be more hard work for the locals mm -hmm. to step up and shine more mm -hmm. and i feel like it, this is what the league's all about there's no there's no uh, I, I don't for favoritism, mm -hmm. just, but everyone has a chance to do their best really? and that's what i feel that this league of asian basketball mm -hmm. is if you got game Mm. Don't talk show. Yeah, <laughs> I and like that's that. It, that's that's yeah. what it's about, you yeah. know. You got game Don't dare. Yeah. If you if it's more of this, uh -huh. you can just give me my water. Yeah. <laughs> but if it's more of the of the uh, other way, mm -hmm. you're definitely gonna shine. You, it, it's on ESPN mm -hmm, mm -hmm. all over yeah. a, all over Asia. Sure, exactly. And it's on my in, in the Philippines. Mm -hmm. a, uh, IBC 13, mm -hmm. um, Jack TV. It's it's Indonesia. It's like like when I go places, I'm just like wow. Mm -hmm. This this league's starting to pick up. And so. people uh, who are big fans actually come up to you and go, hey. You're, you're, well, you're, when they yeah. first see me, they get intimidated. I mean, <laughs> they think I'm a wrestler. Like, why are you playing basketball? You should be wrestling. I'm like, nah, but. Go. You should be part of the Marines. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. I'm like that. But uh, this is who I am, and this is what people think. I think mm -hmm. that like about me because I'm, I'm showing my true colors. Too. But here's the thing: we've got an Asian guy, and we've got an American, yeah, playing basketball in ASEAN. Now, 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 here's the thing. Is it is the game all about size and power play? I mean, for, for Asians to do? Yeah, exactly. Uh, as you know, Asian is small. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. <laughs> but, but it's not size. It's not a problem of size. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's all about your fundamental your skills, mm -hmm. how much you train, mm -hmm. how much you can commit, mm -hmm. your work ethic. So it's yeah. really, size doesn't matter. It's how you yeah. use it, yeah? And you have a never give Ne never give an attitude yeah, like throughout it. the game. Like what are the kids in school saying mm. when you go in for these clinics? Yeah, from they didn't say anything, but from the response and the participation, yeah. mm -hmm. 
I think it's pretty good, pretty decent, and I think they love us. Mm -hmm. They looking up to us, mm -hmm. hope to become like us. Well, I'm looking up to you at this point in time. <laughs> <laughs> I don't mean, but uh, well, well, um, let, let's uh, go for uh, one last question, where, uh, especially to our audience out there. Why should they watch the Asian Basketball League, honestly? <laughs> so I said previously, it's the best entertainment. I believe in Singapore, it's the best sport ent sports entertainment. Yeah, and I believe in region also. <laughs> and it's going to be more and more exciting. And the standard will be getting higher. Yeah, and I think Different the other thing is, so it's very better. much our own. It's the ASEAN Basketball League. It's mm -hmm. not the NBA. Yeah, it's correct. not the NCAA. Yeah. It's uh, the ASEAN it's, Basketball yeah, League. It's, in, in the world, for me, like I played in the PBA in the Philippines. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. It's... This is like, if you got them, put them out. And you gotta put them out. If, if you got the, the Kuhanas, you know how you say it in, in, in Italian, you got yeah. the Kuhanas, you, you show it. Yeah. And this league has been, uh, I, I've been hit with elbows, and I look at the rest, and I'm like, either like, <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, okay, right back at you, buddy. So basically, uh -huh. I mean, I like the hits. It makes me play hard. It, yeah. makes, me get, it makes me get down to the to the grind. Focus and on, um, yeah. the Asian basketball, that's what it's about. And mm -hmm. you know, the, 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 one of the founders, Tony mm -hmm. Fernandez mm -hmm. of Air Asia, mm -hmm. he's definitely a, he's a colorful type of guy too. Yeah, his, right. his, he walks in a room and just glows with with, <laughs> with, with just happiness. Yeah, exactly. Now you you don't gotta be like, oh, here goes the only guy. He's, and, you know, he comes in, he's like, he's like flamboyant, he's like, mm -hmm. you know, because he was once in our position, yeah, yeah. you know, striving for the best. Exactly, exactly. And I like to meet people like that. Very good. And as you can see, uh -huh. he put me on the cover of this magazine. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and that yeah, look at that, look at that. That was for the 2000, really cool. the beginning. Uh, that's just a sort of a glimpse of how many tattoos uh, Alex yeah. actually has. There you go. Yeah, if you want to see my... No, Mr. <laughs> yeah, if Google you see my other, Alex no, Cristiano. Don't, don't do that. Don't do that. <laughs> we're we're going to get ourselves some no. trouble. <laughs> oh, we're we're gonna gonna well. here. Okay, thank you so much, guys, for being with us this morning. Mm -hmm. And all the best for this season. Yeah, thank, thank, you, so you, thank you so much. Keep okay. up with those ballroom dancing classes. And me. I love, <laughs> I love, I love to do my little salsa. He's got salsa. Big, huge American guy. He does ballroom dancing. <laughs> Who else you on the call? Hey, you do the pocho pocho, so. Hey, I do well, go. thank you very much. All right. <laughs> anyway, we're going to take another quick breather, but still ahead.